Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple carrot cake recipe. It's so delicious, so fluffy, and it's really easy to make. I've been making this recipe for years and it's never failed me once. Literally anybody can make it. So, hope you enjoy. We're going to start off by prepping our cake pans by greasing it with some oil and coating it with a light layer of flour. This is going to help the cakes come out seamlessly once they're done baking. Now we're going to prep some carrots. I'm grating about 4-5 to five medium sized carrots, measuring 3 cups and setting it aside. Now we're going to prep our dry ingredients by sifting some flour some baking soda, cinnamon, and finally some salt. Sift it all together and we're going to set it aside. In a medium mixing bowl, mix together the sugar, oil, the beaten eggs, and whisk it together really well until it's very fluffy. Once that's done, we're going to add in those carrots that we measured, whisk it up, and then go in with those dry ingredients that you prepared. Gently mix together, and don't forget the vanilla. Mix till combined. And we're going to use a rubber spatula to fold in the extra flour that's stuck to the sides. Only a few times, don't overmix it. The consistency should look like this. Evenly pour into the two prepared cake pans. You can also use cupcake trays here. And it's going to go into the oven preheated at 200 degrees Celsius for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on what size cake pan you use. In the meantime, we're gonna prep the frosting. So I have a tub of cream cheese, vanilla extract, and some icing sugar that I'm gonna sift right in to get rid of the lumps. We're gonna whisk it together, and I'm gonna add some whipping cream. This is gonna help give it a really nice, fluffy texture. Test the cakes for doneness and take them out. Once they're done cooling, we're gonna ice the cake. And this is how I like to ice it. For carrot cakes, I usually go for a really simplistic design. I like the naked cake look, so it's not perfectly covered. And just a few little walnuts on top. And that's ready to serve. Enjoy! 